All right, guys, I'm gonna go over the few ways that I ship DVDs. I got a couple different size DVDs here, and I have a couple different uh, boxes and envelopes of what I use. So I got here, we got a regular just padded envelope. It has like bubble wrap built into it. These are like DVD size. Um, I got these from the eBay supply store with my shipping coupon for free. Um, I also used this like special DVD box, specifically sized to fit a DVD. Um, I get these local, so I don't have like a link or anything to them, but I've seen them online. There's different kinds of them. Um, some just slide in, some fold. This is the kind I have. And also in a certain situation, you're gonna use like a regular box. So I'll start off with a regular size DVD, just basic DVD case, nothing crazy about it. Um, for me, I have like a, a value and how I determine what package I'm gonna use. If a DVD is like worth less than 15 bucks, I'm just putting it in one of these padded envelopes. I just slide it right in, seal it up, good to go. Like these cases are pretty sturdy. It's possible it gets damaged, but I've never had one get damaged yet. And uh, for a low value DVD, I feel comfortable do shipping in like this. I've never had a problem. Um, everyone might not agree with that, but that's how I do it. Now, if a DVD is like 15 bucks or more, I'm gonna put it in one of these uh, boxes. This is uh, sized just to fit these perfectly. So it just goes in there, two sides fold, fold up, just folds up right in there. These aren't eBay boxes, I just have eBay tape on it from before. Um, but yeah, and then I tape here, here, and on each side here and here. And then yeah, it just kind of looks like a book. It's pretty sturdy. I feel a lot more comfortable shipping like a $20, $30 DVD in a box like this um, than, than something like this. But you know, these are obviously more expensive than these, so you might not want to be shipping $10 DVDs in these boxes, but I mean, that's up to you. For me, I feel comfortable shipping cheap DVDs like this. Like I said, I've never had a problem, but um, I'll, I also feel a lot more comfortable shipping uh, more expensive DVDs like this. Um, I actually really like these. This uh, These will also work for video games like PS2 games, Xbox games, Xbox 360 games, any kind of case games, these will work too. Um, but yeah, so that's like a regular, um, <clears throat> regular size DVD. That's how I go about that. Now you're gonna have some other kind of shapes case shapes like for instance this this kind of case is a little bit too wide it won't fit in this and also um this is like a paper case it's not as sturdy like i feel like this could get smashed a lot easier um so what i will do is i will bubble wrap it first take a sheet of bubble wrap and i'll tape it like that. And then um, I notice sometimes it's a tight fit, so you have to, all this, this extra like bubble wrap on the side. I'll usually cut it like a little bit. Not completely against the edge. I just leave a little bit of room, but I get rid of this extra bubble wrap. Because it can be a tight fit sometimes when you try to put these in the envelope. And there's still enough bubble wrap that I can tape it and it's not touching the DVD. So the two pieces of tape here. Tape each side. <clears throat> and then yeah, now it's bubble wrapped. Now if this is a cheaper DVD, even, even though it's cheaper DVD, I'm gonna bubble wrap it. I don't want this to get snapped. I'll slide it in this. Now if you don't cut off the edges, uh, it's gonna be a tight, it's gonna be a tight fit anyway, but it's gonna be a lot tighter fit if you don't cut off that, this extra bubble wrap. But once you do cut it off, it seems to go in nice. You know, take that off, seal it shut, and you're good to go. Now you got double bubble wrap. You got the bubble uh, bubble wrap uh, built in the, the envelope, and also bubble wrap around the DVD. So I feel a lot more confident shipping like this. It's kind of like a pillow. Now, if this was this kind of case and it was more expensive, I would consider um, shipping it in a box like this because it's not going to fit in um, the DVD size boxes. Um, these are eight by six by four boxes, but I don't know if I would definitely uh, recommend these because it's a tight fit sometimes depending on the DVD. But what I will do, is I'll put some packing paper there on the bottom, slide the DVD in. Like I said, it's a tight fit. Like I feel like I wanna find a box just a tad bit bigger 
for when I'm in a situation like this, but this works for now. But this would not work if I didn't cut off this extra bubble wrap. It's very important um, to cut this off if you're gonna be squeezing it into like a mailer or a eight by six by four box. And then I'll put a little bit more packing paper on top. Take the box shut and it's not gonna move. So this is for like uh, that kind of case that's more expensive. I'm obviously not gonna go through all this with the box for a $10 DVD. That's why I'll just slide it in one of these. It works the same way for a DVD like this. Like this is a thicker case. This is not gonna fit in the DVD sized box. Um, so same situation, I will bubble wrap this, cut off the edges. If it's cheap DVD, then slide it in here, just like I showed you with this case. And also, if it's more expensive, I'll do it like this. So basically, any kind of DVD case that isn't uh, normal size, like just standard DVD case, any kind of weird ones, those are the two uh, two ways I do it. This and this, depending on price. And then for regular DVDs, it's this or the DVD size box. I haven't even been using these forever, but I really like these. I'm glad I found them. Um, I just feel a lot more confident shipping out DVDs that are more expensive, you know, 20, 30, 40 dollar DVDs. And, um, you know, don't really like shipping them out like that. And when, before I started using these, like I was just going through these boxes a lot. And, you know, this is kind of a big box for a DVD, so I don't mind doing it from time to time for like the weird shape cases. But for just a standard DVD, you know, this is fine. With the extra bubble wrap, you cut off the sides when you're bubble wrapping a DVD to have it fit in the mailer. I actually save pieces like this. And uh, what you can do is for pre-owned DVDs, like um, if you kind of move it around, you can kind of hear the, the disc shaking a bit. And it's possible the disc can come out, unlikely, but it's possible it could come out uh, during shipping and just uh, move all around in the case and it could get damaged. So what I do for pre-owned DVDs, sometimes this will be too much, but you know, you just got to find a, the right amount. Maybe cut this in half, kind of take this, and I just place it like that on the DVD and then close the case. And then there's no, there's no noise. The disc is gonna, not gonna fall out now. And um, that way, uh, when you ship it, I feel a little bit more confident. I think the buyer will appreciate it too when they open up their DVD and they see that there's bubble wrap in there. It shows that you took the extra effort to make sure that their item arrives safely. With these padded envelopes, I always just get the eBay ones um, I get these for free because I have an eBay store subscription, so I use my supply coupon every quarter, and um, you know I can pick these up if I need to. Um, these are 6.5 by 9.25, so that's the dimensions of these. However, if you order um, the exact dimensions from a different company, it might be slightly off. Um, it just depends. Like every company is going to be, it might fit a little bit different. I'm just used to these, so it works for me. But um, you know, you might want to find the ones that are uh, that fit well for you, even though it's the exact size. It should be fine, it should be all right, but just wanted to mention that, that um, different companies, the sizes can be just like slightly off. But um, yeah, I always use these. And also I prefer these white uh, padded envelopes. They're, for me, they're a lot more stretchy. So when I have something bubble wrap, it just feels like it stretches more compared to these craft ones. <clears throat> These craft mailers are fine, but I don't know, maybe it's just me, but they don't seem as stretchy. I feel like I can't fit as much in there. And these are exactly the same size, but I just feel like it's a lot easier to fit things into this because it stretches out more. So I almost always, uh, well now I just always get these. I mean, I've gotten these in the past and I still use them because I have them, but I probably wouldn't order these again. Um, I just prefer the white ones. Yeah, obviously you can do whatever works for you. This is just the way I do it. Maybe you like uh, some of the ways I do it, maybe not. But um, yeah, I haven't had any problems with damaged DVDs at all shipping and I ship a lot and those are the ways I do it.